Good evening, folks. On this 28th of March, I trust you've had a good day. And uh, we're going to go to the Old Testament this evening for some food for thought, thinking about the savour or the sweet odours that uh, ascend to God. We're looking at Ezekiel 20 and verse 41. I will accept you with your sweet savour. Let's see how Spurgeon applies this for us tonight. The merits of our great Redeemer are as sweet savour to the Most High. Whether we speak of the active or passive righteousness of Christ, there is an equal fragrance. There was a sweet savour in his active life by which he honoured the law of God and made every precept to glitter like a precious jewel in a pure setting of his own person. Such too was his passive obedience when he endured with unmurmuring submission, hunger and thirst, cold and nakedness, and at length sweet sweat, great drops of blood in Gethsemane, gave his back to the smiters and his cheeks to them that plucked out the, the hair, and was fastened to the cruel wood that he might suffer the wrath of God in our behalf. These two things are sweet before the Most High, and for the sake of his doing and his dying, his substitutionary sufferings and his vicarious obedience, the love our God, sorry, the Lord our God, accepts us. What a preciousness must there be in him to overcome our want of preciousness! What a sweet savour to put away our ill savour! What a cleansing power in his blood to take away sin such as ours! And what glory in his righteousness to make such unacceptable creatures to be accepted in the beloved. Mark, believer, how sure and unchanging must be our acceptance, since it is in him. Take care that you never doubt your acceptance in Jesus. You can't be accepted without Christ, but when you have received his merit, you cannot be unaccepted. Notwithstanding all your doubts and fears and sins, Jehovah's gracious eye never looks upon you in anger. For he sees sin in you, in yourself, yet when he looks at you through Christ, he sees no sin. You're always accepted in Christ, are always blessed and dear to the Father's heart. Therefore lift up a song, and as you see the smoking incense of the merits of the Saviour coming up this evening before the sapphire throne, let the incense of your praise go up also. May indeed the incense of our praise, the savour, the sweet smell and odour of our praise be joined to our prayers tonight as we approach the throne of grace. Until the next time, God bless. Please do take care. Bye for now.